So today's video is my third pregnancy vlog, and sorry, Lacey's here, and it's actually the first one that I've done ever since I entered my second trimester. Um, okay, you can sit here. And the time is seeming to go by pretty quickly. I'm already 15 weeks and three days pregnant, so I'll just start out this video by showing a belly shot because I think my belly is finally starting to show and it's not just looking like bloated or that I just ate a big meal. Well, it kind of still looks like that, but you can see for yourself. So this is the first belly shot that I've done. I know like the typical pose is you put your arm here and your other hand there. Um, so yeah, basically you can see the baby bump right here. And yeah, I mean, it kind of looks fat from this angle too, but if you see like from the face down, you will see that it's a bump. So maybe it's a little hard to see from the front, but yeah, that's what the front looks like. It kind of looks bloated too, I know, but this is from my appointment when I was 12 weeks, 5 days. This is the second ultrasound that I got done. And so yeah, it finally looks like a baby. I know the previous one kind of looked like a gummy bear or a teddy bear because you didn't have like that whole baby shape and I'll reference it, you know, in a little clip here. But anyways, you can see the head, you can see the body, you can see the legs. And right there is the little arm. So we were trying to get like a side profile of the baby to see the nose and everything but the arm was covering it, and during the entire time, the little arm was up in the air, kind of like that. So I guess like it was stretchy. And I will insert the clip of the ultrasound, and it is really interesting because the baby did jump all on its own during the ultrasound, um, so that was pretty cool to see. As of this 12-week, 5-day ultrasound, the head is about 50% of the entire body, as you can see. So hopefully with the next ultrasound, the head will be more proportionate. Um, so yeah, that is what this looks like. And we also were able to hear the heartbeat. It was a heartbeat of like 162 beats per second. So yeah, that was a pretty fast heartbeat and it was crazy to hear it so strong. And so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and play the clip for you if you're interested. It's a lot bigger than the last time. So head's on this side. Um, spine's right here. Yeah, it's a little stretchy. <laughs> Your baby really likes having that one hand right in the air. The thing that's bad about it is that that arm is blocking us from seeing the face really well to get like a cute profile view. Yeah. All of this black is fluid and so... Oh, he doesn't feel it. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, this okay. part is part of the brain structure and that's normal. And then I'll see you back in about four weeks. So yeah, the app that I've been using a lot lately is Glow Nurture. And every day it, sh it reminds you how many weeks and how many days you are. So it's a really great way to keep track. So right now I'm 15 weeks, four days. And the baby is the size of a pear. And it weighs about two ounces. So if you compare this with other apps, it also says that the baby is the size of a navel orange or an apple. So like navel orange, apple, or pear. I mean, I guess it's all kind of in the same ballpark. So with regards to weight gain, I've gained four pounds since my last appointment. And as I mentioned before, I have another appointment in the next week or so. So I'll probably have gained more weight by that time. But yeah, basically in a month I gained four pounds. So I guess that's normal. Um, I haven't gained weight in a while. I guess pregnancy is a good excuse to gain weight. I think I lucked out because I didn't feel any nausea. Um, no major, major food aversions, no like hardcore cravings. It's just been a pretty even keel pregnancy so far, especially during the first trimester. The only symptom I noticed was tiredness. I would get really tired around like 2 or 3 in the afternoon and have to lay down for a little bit, even if it's just like 20 minutes or so. But yeah, that was like clockwork. Every single day at that time I had to lay down because I felt so exhausted and like I couldn't do anything productive really. Um, so yeah, basically tiredness was the only symptom I had in the first trimester. I'm not sure how the second trimester will be. I know they said this is more of like the stage where you're supposed to start glowing more and having more energy. So far, so good. I haven't noticed anything like extreme. <laughs> the other symptom that carries through from the first trimester to the second trimester is my extreme thirst. Even during the night, like even now, I still wake up around two to three times to use the restroom. Every time I finish using the restroom, I get so parched thirsty that I have to drink more water so it keeps perpetuating the cycle. So here's another app that I use to basically see a 3D depiction of the baby. They do this weekly, and so under this app it says, Baby can now move all of his or her limbs, and baby's legs are finally growing longer than the arms. 
And then lastly, the baby is practicing the art of breathing by inhaling and exhaling amniotic fluid. And baby's eyes will, will remain fused shut for several months and he or she can now sense light. And I also read somewhere else that the baby's ears are almost fully developed so they can hear the sound of your voice, but other sources I read said that they won't be able to hear your voice and recognize it until about 18 weeks. So I think in the next few weeks, hopefully, the baby will start to hear my voice and I can talk to the baby. Yeah, I haven't talked to the baby yet because I feel kind of weird, like, what do you say? And I haven't bought any maternity clothes yet. I kind of want to hold off, but I have been shopping and buying more loose clothes, more, more dresses for one, and also just like basically stretchy items. I hate wearing jeans. I haven't worn jeans, I'll say, in like over a month or so. I'll wear leggings, but not those super tight leggings with a really tight waistband. So it has to be like really stretchy or basically I just love to wear dresses and I think I'm going to be living in dresses during this entire pregnancy, especially since um, during the third trimester it will be during the summer months. So yeah, I think that will be a good idea. So I hope you enjoyed today's pregnancy update video. I know this was kind of brief, but I hope it was interesting and I hope others who may be in the same situation as myself can relate to this. I know, once again, I do love watching other pregnancy vlogs and seeing how it compares and contrasts to mine and kind of what to expect and how people feel along the way as well. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.